What the fuck are you doing? Are you gonna jump? Are you gonna jump? What are you thinking? Have you seen Titanic? See if you stay, you jump, I jump. <sighs> that water's fucking freezing, that's what he should have said to you. You're not just killing yourself, but somebody's gonna have to jump in after you and drown as well. Oh, well, that's life. That's stupid. Are you gonna let go of me now? <laughs> no chance. <sighs> Look, what's the script here? Am I meant to take you to hospital? Do I phone the police? But I don't know one thing. I'm not letting you go until we get something sorted out. <sighs> Do you want a hot chocolate? It's alright, it's just sweaty gym clothes and a notebook. Try to tell me what that was all about back there. It's fine, totally cool. Even if I did tell you, why would you care? I you'll say oh, how sad it is and my heart goes out to you. Well, that usual pish. So why would you care? That's right, that's exactly what I'd think. <laughs> you know you suck at reading memes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Hot chocolate? Hot chocolate, coffee, monster, anything you want. Can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Are you even a good swimmer? I'm all right. I mean, I'm no like, Olympic level or anything like that, but... I saw a thing one night, and it was a programme about, you know, people when they decide they want to like, end themselves when they dive into water, but there's some instinct kicks in and they can't help but swim to the shore. Can I ask, where are you from? Or do you just hang about bridges, waiting for young lasses to just jump off and try and befriend them and that? Are you, I mean, are you trying to groom me or something? You're buying me coffee? Listen! Uh, <laughs> can I tell you something? Aye, right, I'm not even going to answer that. Can I tell you something? What? Do you know I can't even swim? Right, okay. So it's pretty lucky for the two of you I caught your hand when I did. Because if you think about it, you're going to end up in that water, freezing cold. It's going to be some half a go hero walking by, throw one of the rings in, drag you out, then you'll be cold, you'll be freezing, you'll be soaking wet. All these young team kicking about will be staring at you laughing, taking photos of you, snapchatting. Uh, the, th the third time I tried was with a razor. We did the whole cutting thing for a while before I began to cut a bit deeper. Two nights in hospital suicide watch before being released. <sighs> You're a bottle of laughs, aren't you? <laughs> Indeed. I don't really, don't really know what to say. I'm just, just about to hit you with the usual fish. Oh, don't worry. It's not your place or fault. I actually like the fact that you grabbed my hand back there. It's um, sweet and caring. Someone I can love and be with forever. <laughs> the feeling in your face is amazing right now. <laughs> oh, a sense of humour. Good. I'm glad to see you laughing. Half an hour ago, you were wanting to dive off a bridge. No, oh, what can I say? Bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, some days I'm fine. Top of the world, well, queen of the world. No cares, nothing stopping me. And then bam, loads fucking looking be. Sounds like manic depression. I'm bi. I'm straight, I don't go on about it. You know, I'm actually enjoying your company, Michael. It's like you mention things or 
say things that are quite straight to the point. Like what? Well, for starters, you don't tiptoe around subjects. You straight up confronted me about my scars and when I told you I could tell by your face that you weren't judging them. Do you know Africa, there's a country with a tribe of people and they're covered from head to toe in scars, their whole body. You'd fit right in earlier. <laughs> talk about, you know, a stranger's opinion can be a valuable one. So just tell me something and I'll give it to you straight. Was Titanic a good film? Oh, the best. And did Leo deserve an Oscar? Yeah, but not for the film they got it for. I think Django was him at his best. You going to try it again? How can you trust any answer I give? I could just lie to you. Do you want me to lie to you? Listen, I'm just grateful you've been honest with me, but I don't want to pick up the paper the more and read about a young lassie found in the Clyde. So I suppose I'm with you all night, and then the morrow, then the day after that, forever glued to you. Could be worse. <laughs> could be better. Well, some poor bastard's going to get a shock. Bag full of sweaty gym gear. And a notepad. Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> At least I've got a story. What was written in it? Ah, just training progress and thoughts. So start a new one tomorrow. Was that a diary? It was a notebook. Oh, it was a diary. God, they're probably reading it by now. Was there anything weird written in it? <laughs> it was full to the brim with my weird sexual fantasies and detailed descriptions of how I hurt small animals. To be honest, I can't judge. Nah, I laugh away, laugh away. What was actually written in it? Just private stuff. Like what? Just what my health and that. Why would you want to monitor your health? To be healthy. Right. Here it is. Have you heard the ALS? Amatrophic lateral sclerosis. What's that? Well, it's no nice anyway. Best way I can describe it to you is the thing Stephen Hawking had. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm not dying, or I'm not yet anyway. I've probably got about a year left of good living and then the symptoms will kick in. Weakness, random twitches, muscles breaking down and then eventually paralysis. That's a sure way of guilt tripping me. <laughs> I'm just being honest with a stranger. There's no words. Yeah, this is my moment, don't make it about you. I'm going to let go of your hand now. You promise me you won't try it again. Go home, get warm, speak to somebody. I'll maybe see you around.